Okay, we're doing funny people that are insanely smooth. First video, this guy's, oh, skateboarding it up. Boom, that's legit. Holy. God damn, dude, that is such a slick move. Oh, that, like, to land on the skateboard like that and then just surf away. Because he doesn't even just land and then go like, ho, ho, he lands and then butt surfs on the skateboard, like, away. Oh, just to be like, guess what? That was probably planned. You guys just didn't know. I'm just that good at skateboarding that I land on my butt, surf away like this, become a viral sensation. And I did it for no one. He just did it for himself and God. That's it. Those are the only two people involved in that. God, what a legit dude. I want to go hang out with that guy. Be like, yo, let's catch a couple beers because you are sick, dude. Love it. Love it. This guy's coming in. Oh, I've seen this one. Yo, this is too nuts. Okay, this blows my mind every time I see it. it I don't understand at all. What's going on? I didn't even know you could get that kind of velocity in in a, in a water slide where you just slide across the surface, your hit feet hit, and then you walk off like nothing happened. You pull a Jesus real quick, a, a floating Jesus move. I, I didn't know you could do that off of a water slide. You become a god in a in a for a short period of time. Also, it, like you're sliding on the water there, you're on your butt. It, it, how is water going up your butt? Are you getting water shot up your butthole in that moment? If so, if that is the situation, then woof, man, I, that's bad. Because here's the thing, guys. I used to work as a scuba diving instructor. I was in hotel pools a lot. And from the surface, see a common pool people use like that? You look down, you think, oh, water's clean. Absolutely, it's the most disgusting water you've ever seen. You go down there with goggles, you look, all you see is, is bugs, skin particles, and band-aids just floating around, just like, not even where you're like, oh, this is kind of like literally where you're like, there's more skin in here than water. How is this possible? And then and you don't even see the pee. You don't even know how much pee's in there. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of gallons of pee just glug, 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 because no one's getting out to pee. The bathrooms at the water side are for poo only. You're peeing there. I pee in there. I pee in there. I'll go. Oh, you peed in there. You peed in there too. If you don't pee in there, you're weird and I don't, I don't trust you. You're too, you follow the rules too closely and you're too inside the box. You're too much of a sheep. You got to break out a little bit. Break out a bit. Pee at the water slides. But if that water goes in your butthole, it's taken six to ten years off your life. Absolutely. <laughs> like As soon as that disgusting water reaches inside your butt, your, your life expectancy just starts to drop. There's no way your body can withstand that kind of stuff. All right, guys. Today, we're doing Top 10 Central Vibe. Today's video is uh, uh, funny people that are insanely smooth. I should be on this list. Absolutely. Just kidding. I'm not smooth at all. Some people think I'm funny, but I am not smooth. I am like the Kool-Aid man in most situations. I just burst in like, ah, sorry about your kitchen table. And I just crush things. I'm, I'm in your face. Uh, I should do some ASMR. That's intense. It's like, yeah. Oh, this dude's canoeing like a pro, man. What's he going to pull off? I'm, I'm excited to see this move. Yo, yo. Just saved a dog. What a good guy. First of all, likes dogs, saves them and can canoe. This guy is like marriage material for sure. If he's not married, someone should lock him down now because he's going to go quick. That guy doesn't stay on the market for very long. He, and he's prepared. He's got waterproof bags and everything in, in, in the back of his, his canoe. But I, I, I like this guy's style. Also, the, he, he saved that dog with ease. His upper body strength is good because if he leaned over too far, he he would go down. You got to have good core, stable core. Boom. He lifted the dog, kept the balance the same. Maybe leaned a little bit this side to keep the canoe going. Dog's in. And then he was just like, let's keep canoeing. We're going to keep canoeing like nothing happened. Was the dog in danger? Maybe. Seems like water rapids. Maybe the dog was just like, hey, I'm having a good time. Got picked. He was like, yo, sick. Free ride, dude. Cowabunga. Oh, I love the lily pads. This guy's rocking lily pads one way and then goes back. This is not the most graceful, but he's doing it. Oh, I hope he was on a date. I hope I pray to God that he was on a date because you pull it. You're on a date, first date. Then you pull off that move. The girls can be like, oh, my God, are we going to get married? Then you come back off the lily pad. You drop on one knee and you do propose before she even says it. You go, let's get married. First date. She's like, absolutely. Lily pad guy. That marriage lasts forever. That marriage is never gonna end, absolutely not. That's how you build a strong relationship and understand whether or not a relationship is gonna last, is you need a American Ninja Warrior type obstacle course that people can work through ka, 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 and climb on stuff and do crazy things. Because the further you get in the in the uh, obstacle course, it tells you how long that your relationship's gonna last. Absolutely, that's the only true way to understand love.
Oh, this dude, what's he gonna do? Oh, this is parkour move for sure. He's got nothing on him, no things. Parkour people also like to wear big t-shirts. I know that about him, because they need the mobility. Oh, clean! You know what? Is he gonna come back up? He did, hopefully he didn't have his phone on him. I love parkour stuff, it's very cool. But what I love even more than people doing cool parkour moves are parkour fails. Parkour fails are one of my favorite things in the whole world. You see someone jump, they hit their neck on a, on a, on a picnic table and they're like, oh, and they just kind of like vibrate for a little bit and they get up and they're like, oh, and their body's never the same again. I love that because if, you, if you're watching like a, a fight video or someone, your car crash or something like that, that's horrible. You know when that's it's it's carnage. The people didn't intend for that to happen. When someone gets hurt doing parkour, that's you chose to to jump on things. No one made you do that. It was a completely optional, and you did it, and you got hurt. So I'm I feel like I'm allowed to take pleasure in that because you made this dumb choice. You hurt yourself, and I get to go. <laughs> <laughs> I love when a fake laugh turns into a real laugh. Okay, yo, look at this guy. Skateboarding, little ramp. Get the f out. Wow! Dude, he did a back, a flip, a side, a rotate, a, a cartwheel in the air off a skateboard onto another skateboard. Even those cops were like, that is the coolest thing I've ever seen. And I have a gun. And I have a gun. That's the coolest thing I've ever seen. Oh, that blew my mind. That blew my mind. Holy crap. I feel like someone just shot caffeine directly into my bloodstream. They were like, bang, bang. And I was like, yeah. It is the only way. And there was a, you guys remember MXC? If you guys don't remember most extreme elimination challenge. That was, is that what it was? MXC. It was called MXC. And it was also called most extreme elimination challenge. I think that's what it was called. Ah, whatever. But it wasn't called MXEC. It was called MXC. But they had, that was like, uh, the Takashi's castle, but they would do the dubs over it. If you did a show like that today, you would get canceled for sure. But in its time, it was great. And uh, there were, they had this kind of challenge, and it was you you run on the pads, but some of the pads didn't float. You step on it, you went down, but some of them were hard. And it was called sinkers and floaters, and that is a poop joke. All right, guys, that's all we have for you today on to, uh, on uh, today's Top 10 Central Vibe. Uh, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, uh, open up your mind, and kiss your damn lips. Bye.